Welcome to another episode of Hair Biz Radio with your host, Zakira and Mikey. And we are back with another episode to bring you guys some current up-to-date information. This episode is special for me, and I know it's special for Mikey too, because May 4th, drum roll. <laughs> which is probably the day that we're releasing this. So probably today, if it, you're listening today, it gets right. released, right? Because we're thinking in the re- recording in the future a little yeah. bit. So we're all excited because it's April 21st now, and um, Mikey is releasing his very first book not just a book but it's his first book on may 4th and what is the book titled fearless beauty the hair business blueprint that name sounds so catchy it's kind of like why wouldn't you want to buy it but tell us what made you decide to name the book fearless beauty you know that's actually a good question so i was meeting with my publishing team Mm -hmm. and they're like okay you know they have they they kind of walk you through everything so you don't mess anything up right which is exactly what i needed because it was my first book and it was important so you know they're like name and i'm like okay you have to have a great title but i didn't want the title to be like the hair business blueprint. That's too much like textbook. Yeah. Right. And then I, I really wanted it something. Okay. You have to let people know what it's about. So it's beauty Mm because the book's all about the beauty industry and you know, the journey, my journey in the beauty industry. But then really I didn't want it to be like talk, you know, not too much entrepreneurship because it is entrepreneurship, but as an entrepreneur jumping into a new industry or even just starting your own business, you Mm -hmm. really need to be fearless. Right. You, ha- oh, yeah. you you can't worry about what people are thinking. You can't worry about, you know, are you going to fail because you will. Right. Right. <laughs> you can't worry about like about anything. You have to have concerns, but you can't really worry about it. So you have to mm-hmm. be fearless. Oh, yeah. You know, so fearless going into entrepreneurship, fearless going into beauty. So it just kind of made sense. I love it. The great thing about this book is that people who are have fear about getting into the hair industry or just being an entrepreneur, this book is literally walking you through steps on giving you all the reasons as to why you don't have to have fear going into the industry. Um, So you talked about it being for the beauty industry, but of course people who are not in the beauty industry can use some tips in the book. Yeah, for sure. Um, You know, the, the first half is all about mindset. So Mm -hmm. really any entrepreneur would really appreciate this. You know, so the first four chapters are all about mindset. The second, uh, the second half is uh, the other four chapters is all about okay. Now you have the mindset. Now let's do it. Yeah. And it kind of walks you through step by step. Now it's kind of plug and play. Where if you sold sweatshirts, you could put sweatshirt as the product and still get really far with this. Oh yeah. But really, for me, I wanted to focus on what's my niche, right? Mm-hmm. And that's obviously beauty, yeah. specifically hair. And I feel like people can learn a lot better if, you know, I'm teaching you about how to do this marketing or how to get this started and you're in the hair industry or beauty industry and I'm yep. talking about beauty products, it's probably a lot easier for you to learn. Yep. Right? Because I know how I learn and it's just try to make it easier for people in the beauty industry, but it's pretty much good for everybody. I love it. So the one thing or one of the things that I love about why you wrote this book is because you have receipts. So a lot of times people will go and write books or put out courses and do all of this stuff to teach you how to do something that they haven't accomplished before. But you, my friend, (laughs) have receipts. So talk a little bit about um, why people should purchase this book. And the book is how much is the book going to be? Or is that not, not out yet? No, it's out. I think the digital version seven ninety nine, and then you have like the paperback is around seventeen ninety nine, and then okay. the hard cover is twenty seven ninety nine. So people can purchase this book for twenty seven dollars and ninety nine cents, and there is literally millions of dollars worth of information inside of this book. Um, so tell people a little bit about why they should tap into the book to learn about the hair industry. So we talked about you having the receipts, but what actually got you into the hair industry? Why are you the person that needs to teach them about how to run a successful hair company? For sure. So, you know, it's, we're here now, mm-hmm. which is, it's, it's great here now, <laughs> but that road is really tough. Road. Yeah. So, you know, I, I have no problem telling people about the struggles we went through, some of the tough things. Um, you know, sometimes I think people try to hide that they went through struggles yeah. and then made it look, it makes it look too easy, mm-hmm. especially with social media these days. So I had no problem really opening up 
and talking about some of the struggles. You know, I can say that, you know, since 2014, when we started, we basically, I was broke in 2014. So like started broke, you know, there's a lot of people broke out there, even with, yeah. you know, current time filming this stimulus money hit, you know, <laughs> uh, another story. But um, so it's really, if you had this knowledge, like if someone gave me this book, I wanted something where I said, okay, if you're getting started today, if you could hand me something that is just so valuable mm -hmm. for me to be able to kind of really prep me for starting a business. Because now if I wanted to start a business again, I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's a whole lot easier. Yeah. You know, but, and I always think of like, you know, I'm, I'm sure you've gone through this too, is where you're always like, man, if I only knew this back when I started yeah. or back then or this, that, the other. I try to give as much of that information up front yeah. and just the way to think about things. Cause a lot of it is a lot of it's mental, a lot of it's mindset, a lot of it's theory. And I go through a lot of that in the book and kind of sets you up for you to have your own path in the hair industry. Now I can say, obviously since 2014, you know, one of the reasons why I wrote the book and you're exactly right. The receipts, like yeah. I didn't want to do something like this. People are always like, Oh, you gotta, you gotta write a book. You gotta write a book. And I was like, and eh, not yet because <laughs> yeah. I didn't feel like I'd reached a certain level at that point where I had the credibility to do so, mm. you know, and at the time last year, you know, I was like, well, things, things are pretty stable. Things yeah. are pretty good. Like, I think I have enough information where I can make a difference. For sure. Right. Because the idea of the book is in one of the reasons why I wrote the book was I want to change people's lives, mm -hmm. you know, like, a book is not something that you really make money on, right? A book is, it it can help you with like the branding notoriety. But really for me, it was like, I really want to change people's lives. You know, the book's dedicated to my mom. And um, if you're a mother and you read this book, like it's going to get you a few times, especially yeah. in the introduction and the conclusion. Um, so it's just, uh, yes, it, it was one of the most rewarding things I've ever done and hasn't even launched yet, but like, obviously it's launching today. If you're listening to this today, but like, it's one of the most rewarding things I've done in a really long time. Yeah. I read the introduction and it, it is definitely a tearjerker and I think it hits home more because I know you and I, I knew your mom and she is so, 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 so proud of you. <laughs> so proud of you. Um, so I love, I love the fact that you dedicated the book to, um, your mom. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, talking about the book, I love the fact that the beginning half of the book is about mindset because a lot of things that we do starts with our mindset. Like if we say, okay, we're going to start this business, we're going to build this business, but we have a poor mindset and everything that we're thinking about is negative or when we don't feel like doing something, we don't do it. If our mindset just shifted, even like 1%, it would help us to be successful in that business that we're looking at starting. So um, tell us a little bit about why was, why was it important for you and what are some of the things that you had to shift when it came to mindset before you became successful in the hair industry? Yeah, I think it was one of those things where it, there, there was a few times throughout the journey mm -hmm. that we really had a mindset shift, kind of not just me personally, but the company as mm -hmm. a whole, yeah. right? So it was when you really kind of can st take a step back and be like, wow, we really changed things during this time. Or yeah. we thought this literally was impossible and look at us today. And I'm just like, you know, it's, it's funny because we'll sit down and I'll say like, hey, look at where we are today, but imagine where we're going to be five years from now. Right. Yeah. But it's one of those things where, you know, certain people will get complacent where they're just like, I've had enough. I'm good here. Mm -hmm. And then there's going to be certain people like me. I'm going to push to death, <laughs> like just nonstop <laughs> day in, day out, you know, and you have to find that happy medium for what type of entrepreneur you are. Right. But you really have to have the mindset because so many times you're going to face these impossible challenges yeah. that are not impossible. Right. Right. <laughs> and in the, in the moment you feel like this is an impossible, this is an impossible thing. And yeah. I felt like before there's certain times that, you know, I was like, there's no way, like in some of my consulting that I did, you know, we hired some top consultants and they're like, and I'm like, what do I need to be the best? And, you know, find the most on Google and stuff. And they're like, do this. And I was like, that's impossible. Mm -hmm. But then I really kind of took a little breather and said, you know what, this it's just numbers at the end of the day, how you kind of work it out. And like, this is possible. And then we did it. And yep. then you're like, oh my God. And then it changed <laughs> a lot of things. And, you know, so I kind of go over some of that with some stories. It's not just like, do this, do this, do this. Like, you know, it's really stuff that happened to me in the, in the journey. Um, you know, so people can really relate to it and kind of understand, okay, you know, this is something I'm going to have to go through myself. 
And I think it's really important for people to kind of take a step back when something messes up and say, okay, you know, this is, this is messed up. This is a failure, but how do I learn from it? Mm -hmm. So a lot of the failures you have can actually provide value, value for you and your business, but that's mindset of how you look at that. Yeah. Right. It's just like, you know, people say, Mikey, how are you always so happy? Like I'm one of the most positive, happy guys I ever meet. Da da da. And I said, well, I wake up every morning and I have the choice. You have the choice yep. is do you want to wake up and be happy and excited? Or do you just want to wake up and be in a bad mood all day? Yeah. That's your choice. That's true. I just always choose happy. <laughs> I love it. So what is like one of the um, hardest things writing this book for you? What was one of the hardest things for you when it came to writing the book, getting the book done, published, getting up into this point? Well, I think it was kind of getting all the information out. Yeah. Um, but luckily I hired like the most amazing team. So shout out to the scribe group, like scribe (laughs) publishing, like they just have this program that they, walk you through step by step. They've worked with New York Times bestsellers and everything else. And, you know, it kind of, they keep you, really keep you on track. And it's funny because I started this when COVID was just really hitting, remember? So Mm -hmm. this has been like a year long process. And I'm just like, well, COVID's here. I can't travel. I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. All the stuff I love to do. Now's the time to do this book Mm because I'm going to be so focused. (laughs) Yeah. And they even told me that, I was one of the most religious on time, like got things done. They said, we, Mikey, we need this. And I'm like, done, (laughs) Mikey, we need that done. Yeah. You know, so it was, it was such a rewarding, um, it was such a, it was so rewarding. And the key was having the right team to help me because I've never done a book before. You've done a book and you know how difficult it is, Yeah. you know? And I said, you know what? I really, I really want to make this special. And if I did it on my own, first of all, we wouldn't be having this podcast today if I was going to just try to do it on my own. Yeah. I just already know. And <laughs> it would not be the caliber of book that is being published today um, because I had the team that kind of pushed me a little bit as well. Yeah. You know, uh, if I had to do it again after this one, maybe I could do it myself. I'd still probably work with this team. Yeah. Um, but without going through it, because this was so important to me, I said, and it was not cheap, by the way, you know, hiring this team. Yeah. It was so important to me that we made this book really valuable for people. Like literally for the cost of the book, it, it's like. You can go <laughs> blow up a business, literally. Unbelievable. Yeah. You know, that's what I wanted people to finish this. And it's it's not like a difficult, there's nothing complicated in yeah. it. Um, it's, it's a good, easy read i just wanted so much value where people just kind of look at it they read it they kiss it they're finding me on instagram (laughs) moran mikey on instagram right shameless plug but you know just kind of like just like wow this was amazing yeah i think that this is like literally the perfect time for the book because if you think back to 2015 like starting with a um multi-level marketing company is hair teaching people how to get into the multi-level marketing um then going and doing free courses how to start a hair business course literally the basics of doing that then getting into the start a hair business group where literally over 35,000 people have access to free information um, down to the master class, down to all the seminars that we've done. And now you have written a book because you've done all of these free things for people. Um, and now it's time for people to invest in themselves and literally all of the free information that you have gotten multiplied with this book. Literally, there's no reason why you can't go start a hair brand or any brand for that matter after you read this book. Um, so that's like amazing. It's literally perfect timing. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because inside the group, so I've posted at least once or multiple times since in that group. I think the date was like it was the summer of 2014. Mm-hmm. So, guys, this is like seven years straight, eight years, whatever the number is. Yeah. Like posting in this group. So there's people that like really know me from this group from, you know, I I went through and I was going through days people signed up and people are like, you know, I'm like, wow, you signed up the second day we created this group, which is so cool (laughs) people in the group. Right. And I know so much of this book, I actually have to dedicate to the start a hair extension business group. Um, because I've gotten literally almost a decade worth of feedback from where people struggle in the hair industry. Mm -hmm. And I've taken all of that to try to give as much 
knowledge and information to help them where they are struggling. Yeah. You know, so that group has really helped me grow because I see directly the struggles people are having. And as you know, we would always create a solution. Yeah. So like people would say, oh my God, this, that, the other. I'd be like, secure, look at this. We got to do this. And boom, the next weekend is it's like done. done. <laughs> and you know, we're like, we have this new thing that's going to help you. And people are like, oh my God, you read our minds. And I'm yeah. like, no, we just read your comment. You know? <laughs> so it's just one of those things. So uh, that group has been really, really helpful. Oh yeah, for sure. And um what was kind of some of the inspiration behind doing the book the way that you did it? Because it's a self-help book, right? So what are some other authors or other books that you've read um, where you're like, oh, I definitely want it to be this type of read, this type of easy read, or I want it to come off as this to readers? It's funny you say that because honestly, like over the last couple years, I haven't read as much because I usually do podcasts. Oh, yeah. So like I spend an hour, I usually walk an hour on the Atlanta Belt line every night and I'm either trying to teach myself Mandarin Chinese, which is not going that great, um, <laughs> or I listen to a podcast. And um, but from my experience with reading, you know, and what I've been told by, you know, the publishing company and some of the other people that have read it is this book is just kind of different. Mm. Like it's just has a different tone yeah. and it's just, people are like, wow, this, I, you know, people that know me well, that read the book, they're like, Mikey, I really felt like you were talking to me. Yeah. You know, so that's, it's just so, it's such a different book. Um, and part of the book, which I think is really unique is uh, we decided to have my girlfriend of almost 10 years uh, write a piece for the book. So she has a couple pages because one of the things people don't realize as an entrepreneur is mm -hmm. your relationships with uh, other people. Yeah. Right. So it's your friends and your family and mm -hmm. like, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband. Yeah. Um, and, and how different that the dynamic of that and what's that like, Yeah. you know? So, because she's actually had over the years, friends, her friends that start dating entrepreneurs reach out to her. Like this entrepreneur is crazy. All he does is work. It's like yeah. 3 a.m. Is he really working? And she's like, probably, <laughs> you know, one of those things. So like her section I think is really powerful. And I think that is so different mm -hmm. because, you know, this is something that you can literally take the book if you're an entrepreneur and give your loved one or spouse and say, hey, I would really appreciate it if you spend like 10 minutes and just read this section. Yeah. This is an entrepreneur I follow. And this is what his girlfriend said about the journey in entrepreneurship. You know, so I, I think it's just very, very unique. You know, I, I obviously have those authors like Tim Ferriss and Gary Vee that yeah. I've, you know, I've always looked up to and, and enjoy their books. But this, this is just kind of on its own path. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. So segueing into um, Mary Margaret literally has been there from the beginning of your entrepreneurship journey. Um, and I know a lot of times a lot of people get into these relationships with entrepreneurs and they have no idea what to expect. It's like, oh my God, like, can we just go out on a date? And it's like, the date is here. Let's order some food and I have to wait, you know? So being able to hear from someone who is actually on the other side, because I know there's times where Mary, Mary Margaret may feel like, hey, I'm not a priority, but she understands. So it's like being dating or being in a relationship with an entrepreneur, being able to understand what the back end of that is like, like what their mindset is like, how the mindset shift has happened, what type of things that they're doing to build the business, how does marketing look, like all of these different things. It's like you should know this before you get into a relationship with an entrepreneur because a lot of times you won't be first. The business will be first. And that's yeah. just how it is um, until they can learn to build that balance between relationship and business. But in those early years while you're building, it's so important, the attention that you give the business. Um, so I think that that's really great because I haven't read a self-help book before that had something like that in it to help other people. So that's like phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like and this book, like you know, this this is just like a couple pages in the yeah. book. It's not like a you know a relationship book or anything right, like that. But sure. like, it's, it's a not really going to teach you how to keep your um, how to keep no, your spouse. You know, but really, those first couple years of entrepreneurship are yeah. so tough because, mm -hmm. like for me, I wanted to work so hard because I knew, you know, the light at the on, end of the tunnel can be so bright, uh, so bright and yeah. so great, right? Like be able to travel first class opposed to you know, sitting all the way in the back of the plane. Like when I used to travel until, you know, a couple of years ago, I figured yeah. out how to fly first class. You know, I was always, the, I felt like I was the bathroom attendant on my way to Thailand. <laughs> like I'm on the last seat of the plane, you know, working the bathroom back there with the, you know, the last seat. But now it's like, 
you know, once you learn and kind of like, it's kind of like life hack kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Now I fly first class and it's free. Yeah. Like <laughs> how did this even happen? Like I never thought we would get to this point and it was all worth it. Yeah. And then I know in the book, um, you talk a little bit about how to build a team or building a team when it comes to um, your business, how to build your website, marketing. Um, we talked about mindset shift and all of that. But can you talk a little bit about why it's important to follow steps building the business versus jumping all around and yeah, going from place you can't, to place? It's just like a book. You can't just go skipping chapters. Yeah. Like you have to make sure that your business is set up right from the start. Make sure you're on the right platform from mm-hmm. the start. Unless you have like all this money just to mess things up. Like I really wanted to put someone like, okay, there are options, but this is the best. Yeah. You need to do this. Make sure you have your books in line. It's a good idea to talk to an accountant. You know, okay, this is like the marketing uh, basics with Facebook and Instagram. You want to have like these type of ads first. Yeah. There are all, all, all sorts of other types of things you can do. Yes. Let's just go through the basics. So this book is from start to kind of, you know, the first couple of months of getting started and kind of growing your business of like, let's go through the, the dire needs for your business yeah. and what it's going to cost, what it looks like and everything else. So I think that was something really important to get someone on the right, you know, off to the right start. Because once again, if I had someone handed me this yeah. when I got started, we would have saved a lot of time, a lot of a money, lot of money <laughs> and things would have been a lot easier. So yeah. I don't want like you're, everyone's going to go through their success and failure, but I wanted to kind of give someone that real roadmap AKA blueprint. Yeah. Um, the hair you know, business, blueprint. the hair business blueprint <laughs> to kind of go through and you'll make smaller mistakes all, along the way, but yeah. like choosing GoDaddy for your website, opposed to like a Shopify, like this can be a major mistake once you get going and then you have to make a switch and it, it just can create a mess. Yeah. So that kind of segues way into my next question. Like who is the book for? Is it for a beginner, for someone who's kind of already started? Can someone who has already built their business, but really needs help with marketing, should they purchase this book? Who is the book for? Really anybody, definitely anyone that wants to start a business. Okay. Um, really kind of honing down into if you want to get into beauty and especially hair, uh, just you, you'll really feel this book just the way it's kind of really geared towards that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think if you've reached a major level of success, I think you, the second half you've already done, uh, but you definitely would probably appreciate the first half. Yeah. Um, so if you were probably in the um, six figures, it's still a great book for you. Perfect. Uh, once you're getting into seven figures, I know where the mindset and everything, you kind of have to be at a certain level. Yeah. Um, and if you're like us in the eight figures, you know, you you need my Look more advanced book. in the eight figures. Look, the, that, eight, that eight feels kind of <laughs> good. Point. Look, that eight felt, felt kind of good, you know. Um, yeah, so, and honestly, we're one of the very few U.S.-based hair companies mm-hmm. in the eight figures. Um, so, yeah, that's... Another reason why I wanted to do this was because um, we have reached a certain level where people can be like, well, yeah, he kind of knows what he's talking about. Because it's the dynamic going from six to seven to eight is so crazy. It's so vast what you never thought it would be. Yeah. And how you have to change things and systems and everything else. Yeah, it's just... It's a journey, but six figures. Yep. You're still in there. You better, bet. you better get this book. I'm telling you, it's going to help. <laughs> yeah. And on top of that, you have some very prominent people who have endorsed this book. So tell us a little bit about, um, some of the people that you have kind of endorsing the book that have read the book, read the manuscript. How was that experience? How do you feel about those people? Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I have four people I wanted, uh, they said you need at least four endorsements for the mm-hmm. back. I said, okay. So endorsement number one was um, Kendall Ficklin, Mm -hmm. a guy you know pretty well. (laughs) Kendall's really special to me because we both started our businesses about the same time. We've been through this kind of journey. We've kind of always been meeting up with each other um, and kind of talking about, you know, hey, you should do this. He's like, hey, you should do that. And kind of we we kind of helped us our each other along the way. Yeah. And just one of the greatest guys I met in the last decade. So, you know, he was really important to me to be part of this book. 
Uh, number two was James Bronner from Bronner Brothers. Oh, yeah. So Bronner Brothers Hair Show for our industry is the number one hands down hair show for, you know, in the United States yeah. by far. Uh, so it, you know, we've been working closer with the Bronner Brothers over the last couple of years. So that was really special to me. Um, of course, our business partner, new business partner, Angela Yee. Most of you guys know her from The Breakfast Club. Yeah. Uh, Angela is an avid reader, you know, yeah. so she reads a ton. <laughs> uh, so she wrote an awesome blurb for us. And then the tough one, the really tough one, uh, John Paul DeJora from Paul Mitchell. Yeah. So he's the co-founder of Paul Mitchell. That was the tough one, like, yeah. That was really tough. As a matter of fact, you know, I pushed back the publishing date of this book because there was a half a fraction of a percent that it was <laughs> actually actually going to get in front of him. Yeah. And that was a five month process getting the manuscript, the full manuscript in front of him. Yeah. Um, you know, getting a billionaire to write an endorsement for for your book is a pretty much deal. it's pretty much impossible. Yeah. Like I remember when when I got the email back and had his kind of recommendation, I sat there and I was just like, I, I was in Charlotte about to go to the private label store, the new private label store in Charlotte. And I was like, uh, we are at the, we always say at the A-Loft has a beautiful view of, of Charlotte and I'm sitting there. And I literally, it's very rare that I will just sit somewhere for 30 minutes and not do anything. Like wow. unless I'm dead asleep. Yeah. I sat there for 30 minutes and just reflected on everything and just said, holy cow, I can't believe I got his endorsement. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> we had met previously at the Bronner Brothers, so kind of funny how it all ties in. Oh, I had shots of Patron again, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that was just, um, that was just, I, I couldn't believe it, you know, yeah. really couldn't believe it. So. That's amazing. So you have some great people endorsing the book, um, people who you guys know, people who you've seen before, whether it was on TV or in person. So you know that this is going to be an amazing book. But what is one thing that um, we didn't talk about maybe that you want people to know about the book? Uh, I think you need to, the first four chapters mm -hmm. is something you need to read twice. Mm, okay. So the, <laughs> once you once you're doing it, that's kind of like a, a system there that kind of works. Just follow those steps. Mm -hmm. But I think you you if you go back and read that first portion again, yeah. maybe a couple months later, there's going to be things that you as you kind of put some of the pieces of the puzzle together. There's certain parts of the book that are just going to make more sense. Yeah, and it's really going to help you. You know, help the way you're thinking and the way you perceive everything you do in your day-to-day -day in the world and um, just, you know, it's not something that it's like, hey, go do this specifically. It kind of is more to open up your mind to yeah. think of like the way you look at things, you're going to look at things differently, which is going to help you in your business and life. Yeah. So I think it's just something that you just have to go back and read a second time because you're going to miss some things. I love it. I love it. So May 4th, the book is coming out. Make sure you purchase the book, leave a review. I am asking personally, Mikey, literally I was with Mikey since the beginning of his career in the hair industry. 2014. Um, 2014. And I've watched him help so many thousands of people build their hair businesses. Um, I've watched him give back to the community. I've watched him um, make Inc. 500. I've watched him not sleep, come in, like, pack orders in the shaping department. I've watched this man literally do so much. So I am asking that you guys support Mikey on this journey. May 4th, make sure you go to Amazon, purchase the book, whether it's a digital copy or a hard copy or the paperback, and make sure you leave a review. We need you to go on Amazon, um, leave a review, uh, tell us what you liked about the book. What's one thing that you took away from the book? Just make sure you support May 4th. We need everybody out here getting a copy of the hair business blueprint, Fearless Beauty. That's it, guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs>